At thebestschools.org, we think it vital that higher education give unconditional support to freedom of thought and expression. Unfortunately, we find an increasing conformity in higher education, in which ideologies rule the day and dissident voices are shouted down or driven out. You yourself were disinvited from delivering commencement addresses more than once because views you hold were unwelcome. What has happened to freedom on America's college campuses and how can it be restored? Well, what has happened to it simply is that there are a group of people uh, and their philosophy is my way or the highway. <laughs> that we are all wise and anybody who disagrees with us and, you know, doesn't deserve to be heard, needs to be shut down, uh, if, if possible, hurt them, you know, uh, completely antithetical to what the founders of this country fought for. Uh, what can be done about it? Uh, I would say we need the kind of leadership in this country at a national level that will speak out against that kind of thing, not just turn your head and look the other way. Maybe even go so far as to uh, change the function of the Department of Education, make one of their functions being monitoring of our institutions of higher education for extreme political bias. <laughs> and if it exists, they're not eligible for federal funding. I think you'd find it cool and pretty quickly. <laughs> <laughs>